Oh wow, it's going to be kicking off. Oh wow. Morning and welcome to Beirut. This is my first time in Beirut. I've never been to Lebanon before in my life. And today I am going from Lebanon to Syria. How I'm getting there, I haven't got a clue. And never in my life did I think I'd be going to Syria. I got here, what, midnight last night? And the time now is 11.43 and the driver's picking us up in 17 minutes. I've not slept a wink. I've not planned this trip. I don't know where we're going. I don't know who's picking us up. I haven't got a clue. But there is one man a few doors down this corridor who does know. 305. Who looks like that? Mr. Hey! Baldwin Man. Simon Wilson. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You ready for a... How was your flight? That flight was okay, yeah. Was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I haven't slept a wink. Sleep. Really? Not a wink, mate. Come on in, mate. I'll pack up and we'll begin the journey. Genuinely, what's the plan here like? All you've told me is some geezer called Ayub is sorted in. Let me explain. <laughs> About a month ago, a lad called Ayub wrote to me. A said, lad or a man? I don't know. He said he was from Mate, Syria. I wouldn't know Ayub if I fell over him in the street. I've never seen this guy. You've but, never seen the guy. But he wrote to me on Instagram and said, would you like a tour of Syria? I think you would enjoy it. And I said, absolutely. And so we're going to go to Syria with this random dude I've never seen. Don't know anything about him. <laughs> Let's hope he's Mate, not. that sounds like our type of trip. I don't think I've asked you this. How do you feel about going to Syria? Are you like a bit nervous? I'm nervous, but not just because it's Syria, but because yeah. I've never been to this region at all. So I know You've never enough. been to the Middle East? Never been to the old Middle East. Me. I'm excited, mate. I'm a little bit of trepidation, but I'm excited. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I reckon awesome food, lovely people. Why did you press button so much? Well, you've got to make sure you pressed it properly. What, 12 times? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Can I check out of 313? Thank you very much. Mate, do you know what this geezer looks like? The guy? I yeah. have no idea what he looks like. What's cars he driving? I don't know. A one million. One million? How much is one million in British? Or dollars? Around 80 dollars. 80 dollars, that's fine, no problem. <laughs> don't be saying a million again, you scare me. Is that all good, yeah? Thank you so much. Is one of these guys ours? I don't know who is our mate, I don't know. I reckon is this is him. That looks like Hi, our how are you? Man. That looks like our man. Is it? Hello. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice to meet you. Oh. I'm guessing that oh. isn't. <laughs> what about this guy? Hey, how are you? Taxi or guide or? No, 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 no. Ah, okay. It doesn't look like our driver's here yet. How do I feel about going to Syria? I wouldn't say I'm scared, but like, interested to see what it's like and I didn't think I'd ever be going. Have you even got a number to ring him? No, I don't know. All I've got is that Instagram message. I haven't like heard- Oh, mate, come on. There's a white car coming in. Do you reckon? Damascus? Oh, airport. Airport. So it's not our man. Mate, what have you sorted here? Can you calm down, mate? Right? Listen, let me just tell you something. We're not in Europe now. We're in the Middle East. It's wild. It's chaotic. You don't know what you're doing. You don't understand them. It's a different place. But we're going to enjoy it. We're going to get to Damascus. When I was there, just then, I heard the like all the guards speaking. They were saying, Syria. And they were going like this. Quick question. Have you been to Syria? No. You've not been? Is it safe? In Damascus, yeah. Do a lot of people in Lebanon go to Syria? Yeah, yeah. They do? Yeah, too much. Too much? Yes. Is this our guy in the blue Honda? Damascus? Yes. Simon Wilson? Yeah, Simon yeah, Wilson. Yeah. Wilson. Wilson Simon. You booked it and he's got my name. How does that look? Yeah. What's your name, sorry? I am Abdullah. Abdullah, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Are you from Damascus, Abdullah? No, I am from Lebanon. You're from Lebanon? How long is the drive to Damascus? To the border, about an hour. And then from the border to Damascus, about an hour and a half. An hour and a half, so two and a half hours to Damascus. Let's start the journey to Syria. What's that? But the guy that was meant to be picking us up just called me. Mate, is this the right guy? I don't know. I honestly don't know. No, I'm being genuine, I don't know. But let's go, we're going to Damascus. Abdullah, do you know a guy called Ayub? No, no. You well, don't know a guy okay. called Ayub. Abdullah, are you sure that we are your guests? That we are in the right yes, car? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, okay. Cool. I have the letter for the borders. Okay, perfect. Ah, okay. You have our names, perfect. Name? Yeah, if he's got your Wait, name on the document. Arthur Whitefield? No. 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 Yeah. Let's go back to hotel and I'll call the driver and just check. You can speak to him. I think that's the best way. So we're going back to the hotel now. I haven't got a clue what's happening here, but we're going to soon find out. My bags are in the back of this car. So hopefully he doesn't drive off. He's not picking up. 
Jesus. Nothing's easy travelling in the Middle East. Right, he man. tried to call him, but he didn't answer. <laughs> so this is one. this the same guy? He's ringing the same guy as you, I think. I talked to him before I arrived here. What he he told me uh, two guys. Yeah, we are two guys. Okay. But then you need the paperwork, right? Oh, I don't right? have paper for the border. Of course he has. He has. He. But where is he? At the border. Oh, he, okay, I didn't know. He's okay. up, yes. Perfect. So he's at the border and he has he's papers for him. He's waiting for us up. Oh, ah, okay, okay, there you go. Stop stressing. It is mate, mud, mate. listen, when you're a seasoned traveller like myself, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Abdullah, what is this military checkpoint? I will tell you after this checkpoint. Oh, jeez, I've got guns. <laughs> Why was the military checkpoint there? This uh, area, uh, after the war of uh, Syria. After the war with Syria? Uh, there's a lot of bombing here. What, even now there's a lot of bombings? Uh, no, no, it's safe now. They are uh, trying to stop bombing. Ah, uh, okay, so they check cars for bombs and stuff like that? Yes, check for bombs. How often do you go to Syria? I uh, go to Syria every week. Every week? Yeah. You like it better in Syria or in Lebanon? My country. In Lebanon, your country, yeah. We're just leaving Beirut now. It's going to be interesting to see what Syria is like. You know, when you tell people you're going to Syria, everybody's like, what? But it'll be interesting to see if it's what people think or if it's going to be different. Next stop, the Syrian border. We're a few minutes from the border now and just coming down this straight road. There is literally no one on this road going to Syria. There's no one in front of us and there's one car behind us. Doesn't look like anybody else wants to go to Syria, mate. The other side of the road's busy, but there's no one on it. A hundred feet away from the border with Syria now. You can see the guards are already here and you can see the checkpoint just up there. I don't know how much of this yeah, I can yeah. film, but I'm gonna try and get as much as possible. Right, this is it, on the border of Syria, just behind us. What's the plan now, Abdullah? To stamp the passport, the Venice border to the Syrian border. Do we leave the bag here or hey, we take yeah, the bag? Keep it, keep it. Keep hey, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you, what's your name? Good, my name is Amanna. Amanna, Simon, nice to meet you. I love you. Love you too. Hello. Right, I've got my passport. We're gonna get this stamp now. Right, I'm gonna have to be a bit discreet with this camera. Here, the point. Yeah. It's a sensitive point. You it's can't feel. It's a sensitive feel. point. Oh, okay. In this uh, So where, where is Syria then? Is it just beyond that, is it? Four kilometers or three kilometers between the borders. Right, let's turn the camera off to go in here. Passport stamped. We're good to go across the border now. Yes. You got ready? I'm ready, mate. Hey, how are you? Hello. You good? How are you? Yeah, yeah very good. Italia? England. No, actually back, UK. How dare you? you. No. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Sure, what friendly people on the border. I know. Just going over the border now. They're just checking the cars, like in the boots, underneath them for like bombs and stuff. Be careful, Simon. Let's not get bloody caught filming because who knows? I don't know what country we're in. But are, we, are we even in Syria? I don't know. This is mad. We are literally in the middle now of Lebanon and Syria. There is not one car on the road. Like burnt out cars on the side of the road. We've just jumped out the car quickly. Check this out. Welcome to Syria. I never thought I'd actually see that sign in person. This is mad though. Look at it over there on the Syrian side. Right, we're back in the car. We're crossing the sign now. There's the sign and we're going. We're on the Syrian side now, starting to see little checkpoints. Oh, don't film here, no? Oh yeah, I see, okay, yeah, fair enough. Oh, jeez. Hi, how are you? Hello, sir. I'm Saudi Arm. Arm at Syria. Right? Hi, how are you? Have we got through? Is he pulling us over? Right, so he pulled us over, we changed car. Abdullah obviously only took us so far, and now we're with our new driver in Syria. What was your name, sorry, mate? Mahmoud. Mahmoud? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Mahmoud is going to be our driver in Syria, so he's going to be taking us all around it. I don't even know where we're going yet. We haven't got anything specific planned, have we? No, no, we'll just see what happens. We we'll just follow the lead of the others. We are officially in Syria, though. Something I never thought I'd say. So far, so good. People seem quite friendly on the checkpoints and stuff. So we'll see how we get into it. I have not got the slightest clue where Mahmoud is taking us. Do you know where he's taking us? No, I don't. I don't even know what hotel we're staying in. I haven't got a clue, and he's on the phone at the minute, so I can't even ask him. So let's see where we end up. Hi. 
Hey, how are you? you both. What's your name, sorry? Rami. R -A -M -I. Rami Simon. Nice Lovely to meet, to meet you. you. It's great to be in Damascus. It's great to see you in real because I saw your videos. Did you? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> we're, we're not as impressive in real life. Yeah. We're more impressive on film. We've just got out of the car and the first thing I've seen in Damascus is a Syrian Skoda. I bet it's more than 40 quid though. Mahmood, see you later. See you tomorrow, mate. We're just walking through all Damascus. Let me give you a proper introduction to Rami. Rami's going to be showing us round for the next few days and see how we get on we're just walking through Damascus now this is the old Damascus this is, is it? the old city of Damascus that's right the old city so how old is this place so this is 5,000 years old 5,000 yeah. it goes back to the Greek time the Roman time even the Aramaic time yeah the first millennium before Christ whenever you excavate beneath yeah. you will find more civilization really oh we're getting some food here yes. <laughs> oh amazing it's got a queue so it must be good Oh my god, they look amazing. Look at the size. I've had a shawarma, but not here. This looks amazing. Have you had one of these before from here? They're amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. Rami, how much is one shawarma here? Uh, it's 4,000. It's like a dollar. A dollar? More or less, yeah. Jeez. Is this mine, is it? Yes, this is yours. Oh, amazing. Cheers, mate. Here's to Damascus. How good is that? That was genuinely the nicest street food I've had. It's quite a clean place. It's not what I expected, if I'm honest. Oh my god, it's another Skoda. This is the same Skoda as I've got, but it's a pickup truck. Mate, a Skoda pickup truck. Yeah, the greatest car I've ever seen in Damascus. Skoda. This place is just not what I expected. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but honestly, if you told me I was in Italy, I believe you. Before 2018, Damascus yeah. was really a dangerous place to what? be. 2018? Yeah, especially in this part. And why was it dangerous in this part? Because random missiles, you know, fall over the... Really? People. Yes. What, just at random because times of the day it would just drop? Exactly. And who was sending those missiles? So in the Ghouta, in the, the east of Damascus, there were yeah. this place where the militants used yeah. to be and they used to send handmade missiles over really? the people. Really? Yes. And they were Syrian, the people sending them, were they? or? Yeah. Flipping yeah, out. After 2018, the Syrian army kicked them out to Idlib. Yeah. And then we stopped having this uh, problem. Missiles. Yeah. So when was the last time a missile landed here? Uh, 2018. 2018. Yes, Jeez, so not that long ago then, is it? This place is mad. We've got gardens over there, people having picnics. It's quite a clean place as well. This is just not what I expected at all. Walking down the main street in Damascus, apparently this is the straightest street in Damascus, it's 2,000 years old. And as you can see, there's just like all this green on the main street in the city. Where else do you see in a city centre that there's like just trees on the pavement and stuff? This is just not what I expected at all. I've got to say, Simon, the people of Syria and Damascus are pretty friendly so far. I've never met a Syrian before. Haven't you? I've, I've got a mate in Manchester called Amid. He's got a chain of restaurants around Manchester called Juniper. Amazing food. Yeah. And he's from yeah. Damascus. Okay. And he said before I come out, he said the people's amazing, the city's amazing, the food's amazing. And he's not wrong. Is this tickets for the game? Yeah. How much are tickets for the game? Can I buy one ticket? Is that okay? Thank you. I have now got my ticket and it is my first football game in Damascus. Mahaba, how are you? And we're in. I didn't even get searched. Is this a stadium? It looks like a house. Oh wow, I can hear some fans cheering in the back. Is this the away? Oh, this way. Okay, thank you. I was going to say, there's like riot gear, military, police loads. Right, here we go. We're going in. Ah, thank you. Yeah, shukran. Shukran. Oh wow, this is mad. There's like loads of firecrackers going off, flares going off. This is the home team. And then in the back over there is the away team. Are they allowed to let fireworks off in football matches? Yeah, because they are really cheerful and they want Fair to play. support to their fans. Who's playing then? Damascus, I'm guessing. So, Wehda against yeah. Tishreen. Wehda belongs to Damascus, Tishreen to Latakia. Amazing. I'm going for a walk. I'm going to see where the crazy fans are. Check this out. Oh, wow. How are you? Thank you. Check this guy out. 
I've just moved out the crazy bit because the guy with the skeleton bandana did not like the camera. He didn't like it. I don't think he likes our camera. No, no. <laughs> so we don't get into trouble, I've come back out. So far, nil nil. Come on, Damascus. Let's get a result. Check out this guy with a gun. Bloody AK-47 at a football match. It's all kicking off here. Look at the players are going mad over there. Everybody's up on their feet. What is going on? He's given the penalty. They're all happy. Is it going to be Damascus 1-0? I'm guessing Damascus have scored because this flare is going on. It was Damascus who scored, was it? I don't know what injury. Maybe we're in the away fans. Oh my god, we're in with the away fans. This is not Damascus, so I'm not going to cheer for them anymore, or I'll get my head kicked in. He's given another penalty! They're all kicking off in here. Second penalty in two minutes. I've just realised Damascus have actually walked off the pitch now. As you can see, they're all over there. Why are Damascus leaving the pitch? They're calling the game off. Mate, what the hell has happened here? The Damascene team withdrawn because they protested for the penalty. It was so, not fair, they said. Wait a minute. The Damascus team protested for the penalty and have just walked off the pitch. Because it was unfair. Yeah, but you can't just walk off the pitch if the other they team get a penalty. In Syria, everything happens. You know? In Syria, they just walk off the pitch. Jesus. Damascus have been off the pitch for about 15 minutes. Now. I can't see him coming back on, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, do you understand this football game? No, it's a little bit complicated. I didn't even know what bloody side we were on, but no. now I understand. We're in the away end with Latakia fans. Latakia are winning 1-0. They got a penalty. Damascus have said, we're out of here. You bribed the ref, we're going home. That's it. Yeah. Is that what they've said? They've yeah. bribed the ref? Yeah, that's what they think. Personally, I do think that both of them were penalties. I reckon they just saw losers personally. This has got to be done now, surely. You think so. Half an hour. You can't just wait all day because they've spat their dummy out. Oh, oh it's wow. Awesome. It's kicking off over yeah, here. Yeah, the army are getting involved in it. Damascus have refused to come back out and Latika have just been declared the win. Well, that was a bit of an anti-climax, wasn't it? Trying to get out now when they've locked the game. Hey, are they going to open this gate soon? We are stuck now. Oh, wow. It's going to be kicking off. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Are you a Takia fan? Yes. What did you think of Damascus then? Not good. Uh, this idea not good. Spoil the game. We come from uh, Latakia to see the match. And it gets called off. Uh, How many hours good. did you travel to come here? Five uh, hours. Five, five hours? And yes. now you go back. Jeez. But you won the game. That's yes. most important. Yeah. Congratulations. 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 Nice to meet you too. What's your name? Nice uh, Simon. Your Simon. name? Tare. Tare. Nice, nice to meet to you. Meet you. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's going to kick off. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah. Why? Is there fighting after games? No, or? no fighting. No fighting. It's all maybe, uh, maybe trouble. We're out of the stadium now. It's chaos outside. People are kicking off. But I reckon we try and get out of here. This is what it looks like across the road from the stadium. We jumping in? Yeah, I'm going in, my old mate. Oh, go on, you first. I'm twice as tall as you. Get in there. <laughs> oh my god, look at this now. There's full of away fans here, and they're all going mad at them. Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! Mate, he nearly just, <laughs> <laughs> just crashed it. Look at all these going mad. Attack here! This is insane. Can we go this way so we can see yeah, them? Yeah, cool, let's do it. Latakia! Latakia! <laughs> Shukran. I can't believe what we just witnessed then. First day in Syria and it's kicking off already. Wait a minute, we've just come across the leaning tower of Damascus. That can't be safe, surely. I've just noticed actually that there's even like metal poles like holding it that way. It's getting a bit darker now. Why is there nobody out? Because it's iftar. 
iftar iftar means the dinner of ramadan ah because so it's ramadan fast the, until the sun goes down until the sun sets uh, so everybody's fires. eating now yes now everybody is eating and i'm not eating for a change <laughs> you should fast <laughs> i know tomorrow i'm gonna do ramadan okay. the hotel is just down here on the right damascus what a city and what a day damascus is so far from what I thought the capital of Syria would be before I came here. The people have been good, the food's been great, I've not felt unsafe at any point. Well, the football match was a bit sketch, but you know, I'm walking down here at night, don't feel unsafe at all. But tomorrow we're heading up north to Aleppo, so I've got a feeling, you know, it might be a different story the more north we go, but we'll find out. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed today. At Simon J. Wills on Instagram and Twitter. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.